Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Radical Red. We had an epic run that went all the way to the champion on the last one. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, but on this one, we have to make that run all over again. Zorark, with its lowered HP IV, has actually done some work for us. It's actually made it work for Dialga. And really, the champion's battle, we kind of just messed it up because we didn't know. Um, Feramosa is faster than Zapdos. Totally okay, we learned. It's also got Triple Axel, which can knock out Zapdos and Salamence in one go. Good. Um, they like the switch if Salamence goes in first. And so, they switched out to Groudon, so maybe we go with Earthquake on Salamence on the first move this time. But we gotta make it there first. Into the first Elite Four member we go. Let's see if we can't bring it back to the champion and maybe get ourselves a victory. I'm feeling good about this. We have learned a lot about the champion's team on that last one now it's just a matter of getting there and seeing if we can't make something happen with it we also have to remember they have a ditto the ditto has been one that we just completely forget they even have attack fell unfortunate and so if we can we got to remember that ice shard over here hopefully knocks it out oh that's so gross it knocks itself out but i think we we lose this by that alone they just have too much left in the tank here. Vicious Ren there lands and knocks out. Yeah, that's too much. You can't have that happen. I think that is enough to make us lose. Straight up. Vicious Ren again over there. I mean... They still have... Um, they still have... Uh, wow. Kyogre. Holy, that was hard for me to get out. What if we put you to sleep, though? Burned, of course, and we missed. And we missed. It didn't matter. I don't think we could win. Um, but the sleep might have given us a chance. We'll take the early L's. Last episode, we took some early L's, and then we got all the way to the champion, so... And had a good battle. So maybe that's just the same thing happening here. Lorelli here is, um... Just kicking our butts on the last few. We have, like, a very specific thing that needs to happen for us to beat her um apparently i didn't realize it was as specific as it has been i won't even get it that's that's also gross that's also gross and then muddy water gets both of us okay um let's go with these two two glassy pokemon but they can only hit one of us and then we land a pretty nasty one i think on them Nasty, but not nasty enough. Kick a drain. Gotta try. Not even close. Not even close to getting that knockout there. Okay. It is Kyogre. You gotta try and put it to sleep. That's the only chance here again. Thunder Wave here. Okay. Okay. I mean, the leech is actually kind of crazy, if it can work for us. Because now we get some HP there, and we Giga. Hold on a second here. <laughs> Have we cracked it? I mean, Kyogre falling asleep for that many turns is way too lucky. But I think we end up winning because of it. G even wilder. You using power-up punch, also kind of crazy. I'd love to be able to use it like you do, but we don't even have it on our team. Okay. We win that battle, a little luckily because um, Kyogre stays asleep for, for a couple turns too many. Into the next time we go here with Salamence, just give me not Urshifu. I think they use U-turn here. Brother, they didn't use it. They didn't use it. Just bond him, bro. Just bond the boy. Okay. This one's a weird one. Total weird one. Do we think they can one-shot us? Survive it. Oh, you were so close. Okay. Interesting. We can't bring out Salamence yet. So it actually has to be you. And they actually have to buff, and that almost gets them to knock themselves out. 
They're not going to use it. We don't have Zorak to switch into. So we sacrifice you. Also unfortunate. You come out. And you buff. With this. Oh my goodness. You're still here. This is a U team. I hate that even more. Gonna Giga off the bat here. It's not enough to get the Nako, and I hate it so much because then they get a critical hit. <laughs> they have too many Pokemon, I think, left already. They have too many Pokemon left already. Holy bullet punch with the crits. Wow. Okay. Again, another battle, not the way you want it to go down. That's the way it went down. You should buy potions. You should buy potions. No, thank you. I don't want your potions, okay? I don't want your potions. I want these battles and I want these wins. Okay. Let's see if we can't do this one and have a clean run here. We need a clean run. That's all I ask. Don't lower my attack, please. did not lower my attack and yet you still survive but I think this is what we want because now you get dueling beat you get ice sharded we got the crit on it might be even more cringe that we got it this is actually not what we want because now uh, the swamp gonna go first okay but they kept our salamance totally fine then totally fine any attacks a good attack and Giga Drain over here. Okay. Doesn't matter. So long as it's not a crit, we get the HP back. You come out. Close combat. Giga Drain. We win. Okay. Oh, wow. Water Spout is based on the amount of HP they had. I've just learned that. Good to know. Salamence out front. I probably should be doing the Switch game on our front Pokemon, because it's probably going to be Urshifu again. How did I know? How did I know? At least he's gone. At least he's knocked out. They bring out Terekion, bro. Stop with this garbage, please. I hate this Pokemon so much. It's so strong. I'm gonna go with the Leech. Then we, we, we actually save and keep or stay close to full HP. We're gonna Leech here too. Bro, they're so disgusting. What are you doing, man? Use U-turn. Even more gross. I think we go with you. This is super effective. They're gonna hit first, but I don't think they can one-shot us. They can't. And we return the favor. I mean, we probably don't go first here either. Gotta bring out you. Gotta blast them. And then close combat. Fine. Fair. Defenses are down. I think I need this to be good. Yes, it will be enough. Oh my goodness, you're still here. How, why, why, how? It doesn't matter if we switch. Bro, and he gets the crit. Okay, we need we need to do the switch play. Because obviously, we cannot deal with the Urshifu start now. Obviously, we can't do it. So let's make this switch here. And hopefully that's enough for them to be like, Ooh, we should have Infernape. Holy, dude. That's crazy. Actually insane. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. We knocked it out that time. Love to see that. Bring you out. Hopefully knock you out. This one night slash. Oh. Beauty. Absolute beauty. I don't know if they're gonna go first. Are they gonna go first? Second? No, they're not. Okay, no rain. Oh, and they actually didn't even go for us either. Lovely. How are we so ahead in this battle? How are we so ahead of it, ahead in this battle right now? Salamence just popped off, that's what. Okay. 
Oh no, our metal metal, it's gonna get melted. Switch. It should now be Infernape. If it's not, well. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. How? How, 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 how? Then you switch. How? Fortunately, that now gets us. It's not actually a too big of a deal, but it's still annoying. Ice Fang, Rice Punch. Mock Punch, forget about it every single time. Um, honestly, get you out of here. We need to get you out of here so that our Venusaur can actually do what it needs to do against the other Terekion. Of course they're gonna bring it out. They're gonna bring it out every single time we don't want them to bring it out. Close combat though. Okay, new strats. New strategies unlocked. You Aqua Jet, bro? Bullet Punch? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Now what? Put it to sleep. Earth power it out of here. It's gonna buff if it has the chance. It's just a matter of if we can actually Put it to sleep. Huge. Holy dude. Still have you, but like literally we can one-shot you. And you can't one-shot us. Okay. Not the way we want it to go down, but the way we, we can make it go down. Mel Metal. Do your worst. Knock him out. Get us back to Lance. Get us back there. Gengar. Take Gengar. Just, like, every single one of these battles is his own mentality. Every single time, it's just a hard reset on your mind. Making sure you're not doing one wrong action that loses you the whole battle. <laughs> Ooh, get wrecked. Real Gengar? Now we find out. Is Thunderbolt gonna get us? If it does, it's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. Let's find out. Okay, that's great. Surviving that, but then getting knocked out by Salamence is exactly what we want. Oh, I should have. Oh, ow, 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 ow. I don't want to hear it. We should have Destiny Bonded. I know it in my heart. We should have Destiny Bonded. This, however, is great. That, however, is awful. We can do this, though. Jeez, they're actually switching it up. They're actually crazy. You know what? Screw you. You want to play like that? Oh. Not very effective, bud. Come on, stay in here. Yes. Exactly what we want. I can't imagine that doesn't knock out. Good. How many you got left? Two more. Marshadow being one of them. We can't even actually hit you with this. Is it even worth switching? You know what? You can't hit us. Ooh, bulk up Kando. Okay. I think so long as you don't use that move. They didn't use it. They didn't use the move? Okay. Saved. Absolutely saved. Melted and saved. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We got lucky last time with Garchomp and Roar. Like, I, odds are we will not get as lucky again. So. What do we do about it? There's not much we really can, to be honest. But whatever, whatever we think makes sense here. Whatever we think makes sense here. What do I even want? I might be okay with Garchomp now. I, I have no idea. They choose to switch it. We actually missed, which... Lucky for us. Should we paralyze this thing? 
I think you just do it. Just do the damage. You know what you can do. Not as much as I thought we were going to do, by the way. Then we can switch. Sorry. Almost messed that up. And now we should be able to finish him off. Okay. Let's slow it down. We say that. Let's see if we can actually make it happen. Salamance. What happened last time? I believe you one-shot us. Ooh. Oh, a little counter action. You one shot us last time. And that's okay. If they choose to do that again, because then our Salamence comes out and gets them. Okay. Our Salamence now comes out. It can knock them out. They don't switch. Get it out of here. Okay. It's probably going to be Dialga now. Now what? Now what? Bring out you. Knocks you out. It might not knock you out though. I don't think it will. Roar of time. It will use roar of time. Guaranteed. It's gonna use roar of time. It's not gonna knock you out. Cause I think it's a dragon type move. Not very effective. Who does that bring out? I think it rotates you two in. So like Weavile to Zapdos, which would maybe be Unisaur instead. I think that's how that works. I'm not really sure though. Um. Oh. You're the only one I think we can let go of right now. So I think it has to be you. Like honestly, I hope you knock us out. I don't think you are, but I hope you do. That's tragic. That's, you know what? That's actually totally fine because we always just switch out again. Okay. 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 That actually totally works. And we can always do that. Zora comes out. They're at full HP. We Destiny Bond them. We knock them out. Do we have enough Pokemon left to win this battle? I don't know, but I think we're in a very similar spot as to where we were on the last time we got here. That to say, we got lucky last time. Is it something that we're going to get lucky with this time? I'm not sure. And here we are again with this. Venusaur goes out. Dragonite comes out. Dragonite one-shots Venusaur. Salamance goes out. They might still bring out Dragonite. They might use Outrage, which one-shots us. Or they use uh, Dual Wing Beat and doesn't one-shot us. And we can one-shot them. Start the Moxie triggering. And probably just clear the team. Except Salamance. Or except, excuse me, Guard Chomp. In which, Weavile then has to deal with it. I think, however, you can still take a hit anyways. So I think we do exactly what we did last time. And hope for the best. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, something actually would have worked anyways. That, unfortunately, that buff right there, might spell the end of this match for us. I, I snapped and made this decision. Okay. It needs to finish it. I think it can. But I did make a snap judgment there on bringing Salamence out because of, of the Dragon's Dance. It works out for us. <laughs> Although, I should have thought for a second there longer. Okay, Garchomp comes out. You need to do this no matter what. Garchomp's decision here... I think is irrelevant because it will survive no matter what is irrelevant because I think Weavile can just knock out the two other Pokemon no matter what they used Roar again they are actually crazy they might not have a move they might be so set up just to be a setup Pokemon that they have no moves and I love that for us I honestly love that for us I'm gonna use triple axle this time because I know they don't one shot us they do go first they one-shot us. I can't handle this game anymore. I don't know if we can one-shot it. Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> How does this keep happening? 
we can't one shot the Draco fish, but we can one shot that one. Totally okay. It's good to know. Why is Garchomp going for Roar? It's gotta be because they just have no other moves. I can't think of any other way of why they're doing that. Okay, Salamanth now up front, Pheromosa in the front spot. We've had times with Bruno where Urshifu's in the front, and when we use Earthquake, they don't switch out because they know. They just know. And so I'm I'm struggling to go with Earthquake knowing expecting a Groudon switch because they feel like they just know on the other battles. So I feel like I still have to go with Dual Wing Beat. Groudon comes out and then we're fighting for our lives, making these switches and making things happen. But I think that's just what it has to be. We know the Fire Punch is kind of the move of choice on Groudon. So that can maybe inform some of our switching. So let's just, I think we still have to do exactly what we did the last time. If they change for Hermosa, it is what it is. We gotta run with it. Fire Punch is a move of choice though. You have to do it. They're gonna make the switch and it's to Groudon. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm worried that if we don't make that switch, they one-shot our Salamence with the Triple Axle. And so, there, there's not much choice to be made. I think it just is. I think you switch to Zapdos now. You hit him with the close combat. And then you bring out Zorark to get the actual knockout. Thunder Wave, kind of cheesy, but okay. We can also counter his attack. Let's try that. Because I don't think this knocks us out. Actually kind of huge. We'll get the knockout on Groudon with the counter. And we'll at least know what they're bringing out here. Okay. I hate that. <laughs> I really don't like that. That's okay. What are they going to use? They're going to use a move. It's a good move. Their defense is down though. It is flying and fighting. And so in theory, this is good, and so is this, um, but this is better. It's a ditto. Its stats shouldn't be as good as the original. They can hit Zoroark because they have Dual Wing Beat. I hate that we have Dual Wing Beat um, for this specific purpose. I think it has to be you no matter what. You are the best option for this. I just hope you one-shot him. They're switching out because they're scared. That damage is not enough. They're not going to use Flamethrower. So I can put out you, and then they will use Flamethrower. Then after. They're going to use like Dynamax Cannon. Probably a Dragon move. So you'll resist it really well. But you probably will get knocked out the next turn. I think we have to live with it. I think we actually just have to live with that. <sighs> okay. I think we're making the best moves we can. That's still a lot of damage, dude. If we can land this, it would be great. I don't think we are, but we have to try. Okay. If we Earthquake, they might switch to Yveltal. But I think it outspeeds all our other Pokemon and will one-shot all our other Pokemon. So I think no matter what, you have to do this. Because you're the only one that can go first here. They don't switch. That will knock it out. Probably gonna bring out Yveltal though. Bring back Pheromosa because it just hates us. They're gonna use Triple Axle. No one takes it well, let's be honest. I think if you survive, good on you. But your Destiny Bond, I don't think we can make work. Unless we bring out you and like you're just not the Pokemon for this battle anymore. Because they have Yveltal left. They have this Pheromosa. Oh my gosh, what is the other Pokemon? Groudon is gone. Eternatus is gone. Ditto is gone. I think it needs to be you to come out. I need to have that hopeful ability to use Destiny Bond. Yeah. That is, that is just is what it is. Oh, the speed boost. Oh, <laughs> we forgot about it again. We forgot about it again. 
Miss. You gotta miss one of these. Miss, 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 miss the second one. Miss it, miss it, miss it. Oh my gosh. That knocks us out. They don't even need the third one. Damn it, dude. That beast boost. The beast boost. This is where Talon Flame. <laughs> Talon Flame. <laughs> Talon Flame. Where are you? Where are you? Miss one of these. Just miss one. Huge. You're so cringe. That's even worse. That's even worse. Miss, 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 miss. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're so fast. Their speed is definitely four, five hundred now. Yo, I can ice shard you though. Oh man. Okay. Well. We uh, they still have ditto. What about what was I saying? They don't have ditto. Don't you love that theirs is gonna be stronger than ours too? I think they still did more damage than we did. We did get him. Down to two again. Do we go first on this? We don't. Oh they we do. They just use sucker punch. Oh man. That Pheromosa has been a real Real thorn in my side now. That Pheromosa. What if we bring Talonflame back? <laughs> we'll leave it with that thought, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button, subscribe. Do we bring Talonflame back for Pheromosa? It seems like it was a strat that was working and getting it knocked out. But then we kind of fell apart with the rest of our team. But that might just be from an experience with the champions team. But we'll leave it off here. Hope to see you on the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe. See you then.